Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. A high-stakes playoff game is on the docket at Southwest Virginia on this Saturday night as the third-seeded Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs and the sixth-seeded Quad City Storm meet up for game three in this opening round President's Cup playoff series at Berglund Center. The Dogs overcame the Storm with two late third-period goals by Steven Alvo and Alex DiCarlo last night to prevail three to two in game two and avoid elimination as the Storm were unable to complete the two-game sweep over the dogs in this best of three series. The winner of tonight's game will advance to the semifinals next week. The loser will be eliminated from the SPHL postseason. Cut off by Gerdunkis, he'll spring to Carlo down the right wing side. To Carlo, back across the way, Ronald scores! At the far post, it's Owen McDay that opens the score. one nothing dogs, 14-51 to go in the first. It's a really tidy defensive play by Gerdunkis. Heavy clearance up the near wall to Carlo, drove that puck in deep. Carlo waited to the last possible second to keep the angle. Owen McDade has been driving to the net in each of the first two games and has come up so close on several occasions. He's earned that one. Roanoke up 1-0 here at 5.09. Nice hit by McDade. Will send a man down to the ice. It was St. Pierre. Now to Carlo. That shot. He scores. Alex to Carlo makes it two to nothing. <laughs> Seven eighteen to go in the first. Oh, and McDade laid the boom. And Alex to Carlo with a beautiful shot. That's able to get by Premaran on the club side. The Dogs have doubled their advantage here in the first period. Holy smokes, Owen McDade. That's a hungry dog right there. Alex DiCarlo with a missile. And that brings us to the end of the first period. Roto up two to nothing here over Quad City. Oh, and McDade off the feet of Alex DiCarlo, and then it's McDade's big hit that springs DiCarlo right back. Those two on the board once a piece, each with an assist as well. The Dogs have outshot Quad City 13 to five, and they lead by a pair. Right wing circle, it's Pat to the top. Downhill, Nelson shot, he scores. 16-15 to go in the second. Quad City able to get their first power play goal of the series. It's two to one. 2.28 was remaining on the Gerdukas penalty, so it'll get reset to two minutes. Pepe, center point, that shot, he scores! Brandon Pepe on the power play has made it three to one dogs. 8.06 to go in the second. His second power play goal and his many nights for the rail yard dogs. The pressure starting to build on Rono. But Quad City cutting this to a one goal game and Rono getting all those power plays in quick succession, they had to really take advantage there, and they do. And that brings us to the end of the second period. Well, four power plays for Roanoke, Quad City had three. But the rail yard dogs, through Brendan Pepe answer on the power play after Logan Nelson had gotten Quad City on the board. It's three to one Roanoke here at the end of 40 minutes in game three.
gives it away to Valerian. Intercepted, up to O'Day. He's got Stubbs, left wing circle, that shot, he scores! CJ Stubbs, his first of the playoffs. It's four to one dogs here at 101 in the third. Valerian could have gone three on two. Alexa bumped it up the head for O'Day and that kind of took out the man on the near side. Turns it into a two on one and CJ Stubbs 20 goals in the regular season. He makes Quad City pay for the turnover at their own blue line. Say the shot and it's tipped along. He scores! 13-0, two to go in the third. I think it's Pepe again on the power play. And it is. You saw him shrug. I think he was kind of just tossing it towards the front. He knew he had McDade screening. McDade didn't get a piece of it. But Moran never saw it. Five goals on 24 shots tonight for the Rail Yard Dogs. Two of them by Brendan Pepe. Now skip to the lead to the ice by the Rail Yard Dogs, and Billy Rhodes scores, and he'll point at Michael Greco in celebration. Six to one, Rona, the empty netter by Billy Roach puts this one on ice. Billy Roach just emoted on Michael Greco. Jansen's long clear, it's gloved down by Stubbs. He may have a chance here. In front, back at it, far down, he scores! CJ Stubbs with the beauty! It is seven to one dogs with 3.17 to go in the third. How's that for a little capper on the night? Holy smokes. The glove down after the great pass from Jansen. That's just an unbelievable finish by CJ Subs. The Rail Yard Dogs with a massive seven to one closeout victory in the first round against the Quad City Storm. Quad City is eliminated. Roanoke to the President's Cup semifinals for the fourth consecutive playoff run after Roanoke lost game one. They went twice here at home ice in the Star City to advance. 30 saves on the night for Austin Rodebush. Two goals and two assists for CJ Stubbs. Two power play goals by Brendan Pepe. Owen McDade had an absolute monster first period with Alex DiCarlo. They each had a goal and an assist. Two assists on the night for Mac Jansen. Billy Roach with that long range empty net goal. And we'll get the handshake line. Post game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs.